Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's episode, I will be showing you tips and techniques on how to royal iced cookies as well as how to make non-spread sugar cookies. Have you ever been so disappointed because as soon as the cookies are placed in the oven, they start spreading? Just recently, I learned one secret ingredient to stop it from happening. Let's find out what it is. For making the cookie dough, mix 4 cups, 480 grams all-purpose flour, 3-4 teaspoon salt, and 1 half cup, 60 grams cornstarch. Sieve it and set aside. In a different bowl, cream 220 grams of room temperature butter and 1 cup 200 grams sugar. Mix well until soft and fluffy. temperature eggs one at a time. Scrape the sides of the bowl before and after each addition. the dry ingredients, mix well until fully incorporated. a teaspoon or 5 ml vanilla extract. Now you see that the cookie dough is like a pie dough. Very easy to hold and handle. Thanks to the cornstarch that is present in the recipe which should make the cookies non-spread. Transfer the dough into a plastic bag and roll it to flatten. Chill for about 20 minutes or so. Place a parchment paper on a pan. On the working surface, sprinkle enough amount of flour for the dough not to stick on the surface. Using a rolling pin, flatten the dough evenly. This dough is about 8 mm thick. Use a cookie cutter to cut into desired shapes. Bake in a preheated oven at 180 centigrade for 20 minutes. 
Now you see that the cookies stay in the same shape and did not spread even after baking. Now let's make the royal icing. Sieve 500 grams of icing sugar. Take 100 grams and place it in a separate bowl. From a canned chickpea, take the brine out. It is a better option for using egg whites for food safety purposes as egg whites are uncooked when making royal icing. Take 9 tablespoons and whip it until foamy. Add 400 grams of icing sugar. teaspoons of glycerin this is optional add the remaining 100 grams of icing sugar Now that the royal icing is ready, let's talk about consistencies. You see that the icing drops from a spatula like that of a honey. Not so thin and not so thick. This is called a medium pick. This is perfect for outlining as well as for flooding. Another one I use is the soft pick consistency. In order to achieve it, Simply add icing sugar to it until it forms a blob when dropping it from a spatula. This is used for outlining, piping little details, and writing. Add more icing sugar to reach a stiff peak if you want to pipe flowers, leaves, and 3D structures. Stiff peak is when you see its peak not bowing down. Always remember that the right consistency is very crucial. Add more brine liquid to thin it out and add icing sugar to thicken it. For outlining and flooding, I use the medium peak consistency. I use the soft peak consistency. Make sure that the royal icing has dried before applying this design.
is a wet and wet icing technique. Instead of flooding the cookie and allowing the icing to dry, the key is to drop runny icing into the flooding icing while it's still wet. you like this video thank you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe like and share